In this video, let's learn how to create reusable modal components. So as you can see, if I click login, it is showing the model right here. It's signed in with Google model. If I click that, as you can see, it's just mimicking the sign in with Google with loading state and etc. And as you can see down here, we have login with uh, Google as well, right? If I click that, it just show the model as well. So basically, we are going to create a reusable model with use context. So we can use that model to whatever the component you like. You can put it on the whatever page or whatever component you like, right? So let's just get started. This is brand new Next.js application. So let's first generate a set CN. So we can do a set CN at let us init. So for the style, I just find um, New York, just whatever you want. It doesn't really matter in this tutorial. So let's generate that. I'm gonna use legacy peer adapts. And then this is will generate some file and folder. Great. So next, I'm going to add a dialog and also I'm going to add a button, a component. Let's install that. So now we should have a um, component folder, right? Let's do that. Let's wait until the process finishes. As you can see, we have components. And then inside that, we have UI folder and button and also a dialog component. Great. So now we can do npm run dev to start a localhost 3000. And then let's first create the navbar component. So inside the components folders, let's create a file called navbar.tsx. And inside in here, we can do RFC, change the component name to navbar. And now we can just import that component into the layout.tsx. So we can just bring it in here. Let's do navbar like this. Right, so now uh, we need to just have closing tag like this. Now let's take a look on the browser. We can open localhost 3000. And as you can see, we have this really little enough bar on the top right here. Great, so now let's just a little bit styling this one. Let's name uh, border B for the border bottom. As you can see, we have the border bottom. And then inside that, in here, we have another div, right? That have some class name in here. I just put some class name in here that have a hey container, MX auto and etc. So inside in here, we have the logo. So let's put a next link in here. This is basically our logo. For the href, let's put a for slash. And also in here, we just return the button login, right? Let's do login, just like this. Now we have a login button. If I click that, nothing happened, of course. So let's create the model. So basically, I'm going to create that inside a components folder. Let's create a folder called a model. So basically, I'm going to put all the providers, the sign in component inside the models folder. All right, so let's create the providers. Let's do providers.tsx. So let's generate RFC and I'm going to give a name model provider like this. And in here, we are going to create context. So let's first create the context on the top right here. We can say export. And then cons, I'm going to do model context like this. Set equals to uh, create context, right? This basically come from the uh, React like that. And inside in here, we can put the default value. For now, just say data. And then I'm, I'm going to do empty string. Great. So inside in here, instead of div, we are going to return model context.provider. So we get the model context provider just like this right and as you can see we require to send a value inside this provider basically so let's put a value and the value for now i'm going to send let's do uh, data and then for now just say hello word just like that okay so inside in here we need to put the children so basically let's grab the children in here on the props we can do children like this and also for the type, you can do that as well. Let's do for the type. I'm going to use the suggestion from the uh, GitHub Copilot. So let's put the children now on this inside the model context provider. So let's bring in that in here. And now we can use the model provider into the layout in order to use the context, right? So let's go to layout and then we need to wrap our navbar and children inside the provider. So now let's import the model provider like this and then just 
put the navbar and also the children inside that model provider as a children so we can read that in here right so now we can access this data here so how do we access that pretty simple let's go back to navbar and in here so let's try to get the data i'm gonna say cons uh context data for example set equals to use context right this come from the react and then i'm going to get the model context from the model slash provider right so now let's try to console log this context data like this let's take a look on the browser as you can see we got an error because when we use create context we need to change that component into use client so you can change that use client right here and also we still get an error because navbar use the use context that's why in here we need to use use con use client as well like this so now as you can see there's no error if i inspect and go to console and hopefully now i can see the object so as you can see if i inspect we get the data with value hello words right so that's how you use context and you can access the data whatever the component you want you can access that on the navbar you can access on the page whatever you want as long as your model provider wrapping your children right here right great so now let's create the sign in model component inside the models folders let's create a file called sign in model just like this dot tsx so in here i just want to export a function called let's do use sign in model just like this right and inside in here i'm going to create that state so the state name i'm going to put this name right here which is show sign in model and set show sign in model right and down here down here i'm going to just return that function this is just for example so let's return um set show sign in model just like this and of course because we're using use state in here we need to change the component into the client component so you can do on the very top use client great so now let's try to just console log the show sign in model great now i'm going to use this function here right inside our um, context which is this provider here right so let's try to bring in that uh, component so we can do cons and then we grab something okay from use sign in model great so in here on this component right we can export this function right so let's grab that inside in here and then now we can use this function inside this value here so instead of data i'm going to put this set show sign in model but as you can see we get an error that's because this uh, initial value is data not set show sign in model so let's just put it in here and then i just want to change that into a function like this as you can see we still get the error because the correct type for the uh, function on the state is basically this one i'm going to paste that right here this is basically a uh, dispatch right set state action and also the value is a boolean so i'm going to use this one as a type so as you can see now there is no error great so now we can use this function on whatever you want so let's go back to navbar and i'm going to uh, let's first console lock so you can see as you can see we have the function all right and now we can use that function on this button for example so we can do on click function like this and we can run the function so we can grab it destructuring like this and then in here i'm going to put true for example so now let's try to uh, run it so i'm going to just click it as you can see it's true by default of course it's false right as you can see it's false when i click it's becoming true down here so now i'm going to create the model component so inside the sign in model on the top right here i'm going to create a function called sign in model right this is going to be a component and inside in here i'm going to return uh, basically a dialogue so let's go back to the set cn and i just want to find a dialogue component 
which is this one we already installed that right so we can use it i'm going to copy all of this and then just paste that right here and of course we can just copy all of this on the top just bring it in here and as you can see now there is no error but as you can see sign in model is not used so let's use it down here so inside this function i'm going to create another component basically so i'm going to say sign in uh, i'm going to say model component like this set equals to um it's going to be set equals to error function like this that return another component so in this case i'm going to return the sign in model component so we can use uh let me do sign in like this because we need to send some props in here so let's first send the show sign in model i'm going to put at this value i'm going to set that into the value in here and also the set show sign in model as well i'm going to bring it in here set equals to set show sign in model okay great we get this error because now sign in model don't have that props right so we can just put it in here and we still get an error because we don't have the type right because we're working with type script so now let's put the uh, type in here of course we're using dispatch set state action and of course the uh, value is going to be in boolean now as you can see there is no error so basically we are going to return this component inside in here so we can use that right that's the idea so in here i'm going to say sign in model into this sign in model component okay so now we can use this sign in model into the provider right great so let's go back to sign in model first on the top right here but instead of using this uh, dialog trigger we are going to use open props on the dialog open is based on the show sign in model right on the props right here and also it's not on close basically but there is a function props call on open change this should be equals to the state function which is set show sign in model great so now we can open and close the dialog based on this value right great that we doing in here okay nice so now let's try to get this uh sign in component into the provider let's go back in here and just bring in the component and we are going to render that component in here so we can do sign in model just like this and now let's try to use our um, model so let's go back in here and then if i click as you can see the model is pop up of course now you can just styling your dialog here to whatever you want but first i'm going to remove the dialog trigger we don't need that and also for the dialog content here i'm going to remove all of that right inside the dialog content i just want to remove all of that and i just want to put my own content so for the dialog header i'm going to put this one right here welcome to web app and the dialog description is this one right here I'm with, i just want to put all the text into the center that's why i use a text center right here so down here i'm going to create a really simple button called login with uh, google or something like that so let's do button and then inside in here i'm going to put sign in with google just like this and inside the button here let's assign another props so we can do farian into i'm going to say outline and also for the class name i'm going to say width into full so let's save that and let's take a look on the browser if i click as you can see all the component that we write it's right here great so in here i'm going to simulate how you can do with sign in right so normally what you're going to do in in here is create another state right that call sign in click it like this and inside a button in here you need to add on click event right so you can do on click like this and then we, you can run a arrow function and inside in here you can do whatever you want basically so let's first i'm going to say set sign in click it into true that means this value now is true okay when that value is true i'm going to set the disable here into that value so when we click when we click this right of course this value is this button is disabled now right that's what i want and also down here i'm going to basically create like a set timeout this is the suggestion from the 
uh, GitHub Copilot is pretty nice. So basically, this is a uh, make a set type mode, right? Uh, first, we set the so shine in model to false, which is close the model, and set sign in click it into false into the one second. So let's try. I'm going to do it in here. Click as you can see, it's just close. It's better when we click that. We need to add another loading state and something like that. So we can do that in here. So we can add this really simple condition in here. If the sign in click it, we are going to render this loader to come from the Lucid React, I believe. Yep. And also when the sign in click it is not click it, it's, that means it's false. I'm going to use this ice cream icon because I'm I'm not find the Google icon anyway. So now the question is how if you want to use the model into the page for example into the page.tsx right here it's pretty simple so let's go back to the nav bar and you need to just have this one in here just import that on your page just like this right because this is use context of course you need to change the component into the client component just like this use client but normally you have to do that inside the component right not on the page because I'm really love the page, it should always be a server component. But anyway, we can use this function here. So let's scroll it down, and then we can do that on whatever we want. For example, right here, right? I'm gonna say login, and I'm gonna change the anchor tag here. Use button like this, and of course now we can use the on click event. So we can do on click, and then when I click that. I want to run the set show sign in model into true just like that and now let's go back if i click login as you can see the model is pop up that's great right that's pretty pretty great all right so that's how you create a reusable model so you can use that model into wherever you want so we're using use context to basically access the function and render the component to whatever you want Okay, so that's for this video. Hope this is helpful. See you guys on the next one.